In this lesson, we'll create additional exterior walls with the help of the guidelines and snap guides. Then we'll see how element connections depend on the priority-based intersections. First, let's create a new composite structure based on the already existing external walls. Open Options, Element Attributes, Composites. Select the exterior wall white brick composite. Push the Duplicate button and set a new descriptive name, Slanted Wall, and click OK. Change the brick finish, white, skin, to plaster, lime sand, and the thickness to 20. Then click OK. Now we can create our next wall segment. Since this wall's placement will be special, we can use guidelines for precise inputs, but first, let's set the new wall parameters. Switch to zero ground floor plan and open the wall settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the slanted wall favorite from the Lesson 4 Favorites folder. Set the wall top to not linked and wall height as 3400. Set the bottom offset to home story to minus 100. With the composite structure selected, choose the slanted wall composite. Select the double slanted wall and the outside slant angle at 97 degrees. Set the reference line to core inside. For the floor plan display parameter, choose projected with overhead. Leave all other settings as is and click OK. Select the single geometry method in the info box. First, we'll create a straight segment 2 meters from the existing wall and then we'll modify it. To find the precise locations, we'll use guidelines and snap guides. Click the top guideline tab and drag a permanent line to the exterior side of the wall. Hover the cursor over the guideline until its handle, the orange dot, appears. Click on this handle and drag the line upwards. Type 2000 and press Enter. Hover the cursor continuously over the internal corners formed by the brick layer and press the Q key to activate the snap references. Move the cursor upwards until a projection of the right inside corner on the guideline appears. Draw the wall between the intersection points of the guideline and the snap guides starting from the right side. Now drag the permanent guideline downwards and type D1000 and press Enter. Select the slanted wall. Click on the right side endpoint and pull the end of the wall to the intersection of the guideline and the snap guide. Then click on the reference line and select the curve edge icon on the pet palette. Move the cursor upwards and type 30,000 in the tracker as a radius. Hit enter and deselect the wall. <laughs> 